Hello and welcome to another video. It is I, Crusader King, and today we're back in another video of Heights of Minecraft, The Curse of Heinrich. This time I'm actually going to be celebrating the fact that it is actually out. So if you wish to play The Curse of Heinrich, now you can. I'm going to be putting the link in the description if I don't forget. So today, there's still plenty and a lot to do in The Curse of Heinrich. Uh, last time we did do a high pixel right down here. But there was a nation that I would that really called my attention. You know, I could really really feel right here right in my body something was off right and that was you guessed it that was uh that was the north empyrean commune so we're gonna be playing the north empyrean commune and we're gonna be trying to instead of making this imperial imperia how about we just spread the communist word and yep we play as captain marks with only one bonus the revolutionary guard now, they, they do have a focus tree, which is pretty expansive in all honesty. There's plenty of choices we can choose to do. But before we do that, if you haven't caught up with the lore of Imperia, you should probably watch my previous video on Imperia info card right about now. Aha, advertisement. <laughs> Anywho, I've never played the revolutionary Imperia, so I just know that it exists and that it's kind of a hindrance to... Uh, to normal Imperia. Imperia being that they can choose two choices. Either they can be very, very liberal and appease the people, or they can repress and form their normal empire. And I'm going to be here to try and, and, and screw every uh, all of that up. So we're going to get our boy Captain Marx and Werner Hoffman. I think both... Yeah, Captain Marx is definitely a reference to someone, but I don't know who that other dude is. So we're just going to do it. We're going to go straight in and our march for independence. We wish to have a free and, and independent uh, lib uh, Imperia. One that is not for these Imperial people, all right? Pushing for the revolution. The people will stand. Here we go. And now we have two choices. Prioritize military expansion or prioritize political infiltration. Okay, so this one gives us access to build military factories. However... This one gives us ability to basically politically infiltrate states for when the Imperial Civil War occurs. Perfect. We can now politically infiltrate. So, we can start actually infiltrating quite a lot of places for when the Civil War starts. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably going to infiltrate Sakin. I... They are now just... They are now just red. They are very menacing. <laughs> Alright, we can stir up some trouble in Varkut. A war in Varkut. Or we can escalate national tensions. This could cause the Imperial Civil War if Imperial stability is less than 20%. You'll be fine, Imperia. You'll be fine. So we can escalate the tensions if I want to get some more state. But first, I'm going to stir up trouble in Varkut. But I would like to infiltrate them. And... Oh, what did I just do? Uh... Huh. Well, I just caused a small civil war. I can't do any of my focuses just because if I do, we will immediately go into civil war. A little bit of a problem. Just a, just a tiny problem there. Tiny setback. But we should be fine. All we need to do is for them to regain their, their lost power and we should be good. Look, it's that this could cause if is made less than. It's not saying that it is, that it has to be. It's just saying that it it could it needs to be less than. So let's just start doing riots against the king, prepare revolt, and then declare national revolution. As well as who should we infiltrate next? Hmm. The Vakut Autonomous Region. You are next. The Imperia uh Well that was fast anyway. Go. Oh, what the heck is happening here? Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, Imperia just took over literally everyone that I did not, so... That sucks, but I'm just taking them over instead. Yeah, I've gotta get rid of... I've gotta move everyone back so that way we can actually focus on the real deal here. And we're getting cores again, and we can also do fighting for Imperia, which will give me some extra division attack and defense on our core territory. All of which is core territory. Embrace the defectors will give us a minus 100. Uh, okay, or we can slaughter the disloyal, giving me 0.01 political power. Between attack or 0.01 political power, I'm going 0.01 political power. 
All right, we got West Vicstar. We might be able to get East Vicstar. Yep, and just like that, it's all over. I am Imperia now. And now that we have spread the revolution abroad, it's time to consolidate our power. And the path of the commune is time to be put. So we actually have three paths, four paths actually, that we can take, five paths. We have five paths that we can take, okay. So we can either take Captain Marx's route, and this is I think where our choices have to come from. Uh, okay, so we can do the the might of Car Captain Marx. All right, I also wanted to see this one because this one's just the weirdest one. Philanthropist King, a redistribute Beerus's riches, open capital. Uh, do we get any war goals though? That's that's what I'm saying. You know, we gotta get some war goals, bro. Reclaim Terum, reclaim Sahara. Okay, so we do get some war goals here. I don't like Captain Crunch. I'm gonna go to Louis the First. He sounds French. But I'm hoping that he just ain't. Because he's going to help me quite a bit with just figuring out what the hell is going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I also forgot we need support equipment. There we go. Louis the First. Mm, an old man is running my country. I'm... Well, mm, I actually think maybe all of them might by, might be old men. It was either this... Or literal sin or, or anarchism. Okay, this just makes no sense. You can empower factionalism. This just sounds like this just sounds like the civil war waiting to happen. <laughs> Redistribute the wealth, baby. Open the capital stores. All of which are all of these are timed days, but this isn't. This is fine. This is great. In fact, this is even better. Oh my goodness. Weekly stability. And oh wait, wait, hold on. Imperian Villagers Rights Act. We got to give them rights? Louis, I may not always agree with you. But just this once I will. Let me just get the political power. We need to spread the revolution. We can't just stay here in, in the Imperian Social Kingdom. We got to spread the revolution, guys. We cannot just allow people to be oppressed by the bourgeoisie. Look at that man, Puffer Pannington. Pat Panting Paddington. <laughs> and, and, yo, he is even nationalizing the private sector. We gotta liberate him, bro. We gotta liberate these people. We gotta make them free. Here we go. No one guaranteed you. You are not safe from me. Your people are gonna be free, Mr. Puffer. Just let me into your walls. Oh, wait. I'm already in them. <laughs> I love destroying the people. Wait, hold on. There we go. All we need now is to stir capital, and I think we should be fine. All right. Hello, free village number two. Would you love to be liberated as well? The free village puffer boots is now in charge. We just got another puffer dude in here. <laughs> that was it. That's all that changed. It's just another puffer, dude. All right. You know what? At least it's not the other dude. All right. It's not It's not the other puffer that I dislike. It's just some dude named Puffer. It's a, it's a coincidence, guys. It's a coincidence. All right. But next is uh, what? Who the, who the heck are you? Why are you in the Independence Union? Now, normally, I would have a problem with this. However, I don't really care, man. I have 36 divisions. I think I can take them. With a tank division in the works, I will I will be fine. Trust me. Trust me, pal. Go time. Potential enemies. Don't care. And... Oh, my. They actually... They're, they're not... Uh, uh, hey, guys. I'm, I'm kind of being invaded right now. And it'll be fine. Oh, wait. We can... <gasps> we can invite the Southern Player Union. Sure, pal. You see, boys? We grow stronger with every day. Are they also fighting them or are they no they're not fighting them sadly so that's pretty good because i don't need to care about them all i gotta do is just take care of everyone else what just happened southern player union what did you get us in uh hey man you wouldn't hurt little old me right would right right pal you you wouldn't no you wouldn't you, you're a good man right you're a good guy come on don't hurt little old me 
Uh, I think they might hurt little old me. All right, I just got it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Perfect. It's been defeated. It's been defeated. Ah. Puppet Empires. Axe Feathers now controls the Free Villagers Union. Brand Salips. We have the Southern Protection Act. We have a lot of free people, all right? Everyone here is now liberated from what could have been. The oppressive governors, governments, leaders of their time. No more. It is only socialism now. One of the main problems, though, is that we are... They're going to have to fight those guys. But... I'm just going to leave that to them. I don't really care about whatever they're doing down here. I just want to take care of my land, you know? Uh, am I involved in this in any way, shape, or form? I am not. But yeah, no. Hades Court is about to completely destroy my boy, the Southern Player Union. You know, this is what you kind of get. Independence no longer. Oh, okay. So, no, yeah. You, you did just repress your people, and I don't like that very much. Oh, finally. Oh, my goodness gracious. Finally gonna puppet the bottom part nerd i'm gonna take everything <laughs> we just have an overseas dominion now oh yeah and uh about that thing I'm gonna leave it <laughs> see ya victoria is taking care of some people here i.e bob glass there we go free village has been taken down time to puppet them and there we are the free village is now here and who instead of bob glass it's cute skins mmm Delicious skins, I see. Wild Hogs just took over my country. They took over my little puppet over here. And they have war goals on some of my guys. So I might have to fight Hades Horde. Yep. Didn't want to, but I think I might need to. That's if they declare war on me, however. Did, did, they, did they just do that? <laughs> did they just declare war on me? They did. All right. Let me just call the arms, the, the Hades Horde Wild Hog stuff. And I can actually start getting some stuff from Hades Horde, such as asking for military access. And I can even improve my relations with them. Sometimes it's best to be friends with the people that literally murdered your previous friend. It really was just an abandoning tactic. We just had to kill them, man. They're declaring war on all my free villages, bro. How dare you wish to oppress my people, my free villager people, man. That's... No, we don't allow that. We're gonna teach you who's boss. Hello, Sahara. I see you are an ex an ex-state of mine. Would be a shame if you came back into the mold, my good friend. Whoopsies. Anywho, Sahara is... Sahari... Sahara is done. And now we inherit a, an actual desert. Don't you just love that? Anywho, time to just declare war on you, and I'm gonna just take out the entire faction. Well, I'm kind of stuck in a situation I can't really fix. So, I'm just... No, 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 not that. Not that. That, that, that was the wrong order. I gotta halt all everything. Because for right now, I gotta build the railroads. I still don't understand how my guys have no supplies. I think it's just men, isn't it? It's probably just guys being dead and all. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because all my entire kingdom is supplied. And what are you people do? You guys are just not even fighting. They, they've just stopped fighting overall. The people, the people back here aren't even fighting. They've just given up. They were just like, yeah, I'm comfortable uh, getting supplies all the way back here. Y'all can do the rest. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wow. We just, we just cut them off from their capital. Let's go, boys. Here we go. Finally, it's over. I love liberating people from their oppressive rulers. But yeah, base, uh, now what I can do, I guess, is just straight up fight these guys. And I think I'm just going to push them out of my territory and then just call it a day. I can't fight the Ominous Legion because I don't have a navy. And that's what I lack, essentially. I can't do a naval invasion, which basically just means we're kind of cornered for the rest of the game. Oh, but hey, my free village over here is not doing that bad in defending themselves. So I give them props. And yeah, there there goes everything. And there we go. They've capitulated. And I think I'm going to end it here. Like I said, I cannot fight them. Like, I cannot win because the Ominous Legion is an island. So, and I don't have a navy. So unless Hades Horde somehow has managed to have a navy, 
yeah, there's no real winning against them. You're just kind of in a perpetual war. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We did get quite far when it comes to the kingdom. I mean, we did pretty well, to be honest. But I'm going to quickly create a faction with the Southern Lumber Company. And there we are. The Southern Lumber Alliance. I have to be in 180 days. Gosh darn it. I can't take it over, though. It's not telling me no. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.